Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about a software that you can use to customize your Windows 11 taskbar, file explorer, start menu, and more. In this video, we're going to talk about WinArrow Tweaker. We've talked about this software before. It is a very, very good software that you can use in Windows 11. I'm not sponsored in any way by this software. I just personally recommend it because I've used it before and I use it still on certain machines, also on virtual machines that I'm doing for certain tests. So I think this is a good software. And the reason I'm doing a video again about this software is that it has has received some updates a new version and it has a lot of new features which we're going to talk about in this video and we're going to see how we can use win arrow tweaker in order to customize our windows 11 experience so we're going to have more info about where to get win arrow tweaker in the article below in the video's description if you enjoy videos like these please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's begin with the video let's open up the software and when you open up the software for the first time you're going to notice that it's looking something like this it's a pretty basic interface interface but a very powerful software in my opinion so the main settings that you're interested in are in the left side and in, uh, in this version 1.60 they announced that they also fix the OS detection so right now if you have Windows 11 23h2 it will be detected as you can see I'm on the dev channel on the latest build and it successfully detected they also have a recent changes page where you can see the recent changes that you've applied and as you can see in the Windows 11 section you have all kind of things that you can do for example classic full context menus so if you click on this and restart explorer you're going to notice that when you right click on your desktop or on your file explorer you're going to have the classic right click menu just like that really really simple related to the classic taskbar you're going to need an additional software if you want to do that because starting in windows 11 22h2 of course it is not possible to enable that classic taskbar only with that registry tweak because microsoft disabled it also we have background apps we can disable background apps all at once disable copilot which is a new feature which i think is pretty useful for those of you who don't want copilot in their operating system you can disable copilot completely or disable the copilot taskbar button enable ribbon if you click on this we're gonna notice that file explorer will be opened up with the old ribbon from windows 10 windows 8 and so on if you're interested in that you can also have access to stickers and also remove windows spotlight icon from desktop if you're using windows spotlight and of course here you have a lot of other settings settings for appearance advanced appearance settings behavior desktop and taskbar context menu microsoft edge settings and control panel file explorer network user accounts and and so on you can do basically a lot of things with this app so i think this is a very good app that you can use to do certain windows 11 customizations but without using any third-party plugins or anything like that of course we're using winero tweaker but it mostly uses what we already have in the windows operating system a new feature that we have in this new build we can also disable the new home page from settings if we don't want it as you can see if we open up the settings app in windows 11 we have this new home page well we can go into the settings and control panel section and then we're going to have the the section hide pages from settings and we can select home and when we open up the settings again you're going to notice that the home page will be disabled as you can see really easily with just a click also for example inside the file explorer section and then scroll down to navigation pane default items you can disable things onedrive gallery network if you don't want them in the file explorer for example if you deselect gallery you're going to have to sign out and the gallery section will disappear from the file explorer and also inside file explorer and then file explorer starting folder you can set what you want to be the starting folder for example home and quick access is the default you can put downloads this pc or even custom so when you open the file explorer it will open up a specific folder let's select custom and then click on browse and then videos select folder and now if we open up the file explorer you're going to notice that we will be opened up inside the video section as easy as that so they've added a lot of things like this i think these are pretty useful and you can customize windows 11 with ease and i think you have all the needed settings of course i'm not going to go through every setting here because there are hundreds of settings but you can play around with windows tweaker and see what is good for you and how you can improve your windows 11 experience and of course don't forget to go into the recent changes tab and here we're going to notice what you've done recently what you've changed recently using it win arrow tweaker you can undo this if you don't want it anymore for example we can click on classic full context menus and disable it and we start explorer and we should be good to go we should have the new context menu back again in windows 11 so as i said you can try out win arrow tweaker go ahead and get it you're going to have all the info you need in the article below in the video's description if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I'm Zoom from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.